the latest release of QTM introduces the Skeleton Solver, which calculates and displays skeleton data from the animation marker set. Whenever you use an AIM model based on the Qualysys animation marker set, simply add a prefix, then click the Calibrate Skeletons button to show the actor's skeleton in the 3D viewer. The skeleton can also be shown in video overlay. The Data Info window shows the position and rotation data for individual skeleton segments. The Skeleton Solver can be used on multiple actors at once, as long as each set of markers has a unique prefix. The skeleton data can be streamed in real time to animation software or exported to TSV or FBX formats. Qualysys has full featured plugins for Unity, Unreal, Motion Builder, Maya, and iClone for easy integration. You can use your own names for the markers in the animation marker set by uploading a custom label mapping file. Extra markers can be added to your AIM model to improve segment tracking. For example, if some markers might become obstructed from view. If the segment name is included in the marker label, the skeleton solver will automatically associate it with that segment. You can also add your own markers to the AIM model for automatic tracking. These can be placed anywhere on the actor's body or even on external props. When processing data in the trajectory editor, the new kinematic gap fill feature lets you easily fill gaps based on segment movement. Prefixes can now be removed from markers in the trajectory list. C3D files can now be opened in QTM. You will see the 3D, analog, and force data displayed. This new compatibility makes it easier to use other motion capture data. Camera frequencies that will reduce the image size are now displayed in red for easy reference. To quickly switch back to full image size, QTM now gives you the option to reset image size for all cameras. The InstaCal utility included with QTM has been updated and you can find SDKs and plugins to correspond with the new QTM release at qualysys.com and the Qualysys GitHub page.